Hey, what's up guys? I'm Raphael. In today's video, I'm going to be showing an introduction to poetry and how to write poetry. Now, what is poetry? Well, poetry is, well, it's a form of literature that conveys a message or a feeling based on a minimal amounts of words in the effective way. At least that's how I put it in my own terms. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of it, what you need and how you can think about it the easy way. And this is how I learned how to write poetry. Now, the first, I, the first step is to think of an idea. Now, you just don't, now for an idea, it could be any kind of subject. So just immerse yourself, just brainstorm ideas. It could be about a person, a place, a thing. It could be about an event. It could be about result, something simple. It could be in your own house, in your bedroom, in the kitchen. It could be outdoors. It could have been an event that you went to. It could have been something that you made, maybe a movie that you watched. It's about getting inspired and just think of a different idea, think of an idea. What would you like to talk about? What, what are you feeling? So almost think of it like when you want to write a journal. You, know, you think about what comes to mind. Now the second step is pattern or rhythm. Now pattern, now what separates a poem from other literature is that there is usually some kind of pattern or rhythm form. And also, before I get to that part, another thing that separates from poem is the style of writing you're using is called a verse. I don't know if you ever heard of a verse, but what a verse is, is if I were to describe it, a verse is a paragraph, which they call a stanza, is you have one sentence, one isolated sentence, and then the next sentence, you have it below. Think of it kind of like the credit scenes in a movie or a video game. Now when you, after the movie ends, you see the credits and it's all in vertical, and it's one sentence and another sentence, kind of like that, exactly like that. Or if you ever look at the lyrics to your favorite songs, it's always in a verse. That's what a verse is. And for just like a verse, there is a pattern, and those patterns could be based on measurements of syllables. It could be a rhyme scheme, sometimes punctuation, and those convey a poem. Also, another idea is to, when you're writing a poem, think of different kinds of languages to use. And I don't mean a foreign language, like not speaking English, and I mean, unless you, you're, Speaking the language out, anyways. But if you do, the language in particular, often used for metaphors, it could be for puns, a feeling, emotion, senses. A lot of that conveys towards your poem because you want to use the strongest amount of words to paint the picture because you want to use very minimal words. Every word has to count as in your poem. You can't have fluff. You have to shave it down as much as you can. You can't have any filler at all. So for the next step, when you have an ideal kind of rhythm, you, you want to start writing your poem. Now, the most popular form of poetry is probably free verse. Now free verse, I don't do this too much because, only because I feel like you have too much freedom. But if you want to just have a certain pattern, a rhyme, or certain syllable counts, then you can just do that and you don't have to worry about a certain style of poem. But there are other forms of poems that you would like to try out. And if you're interested, I could do videos on that or go check out another types of other channels that have, like, for example, their sonnets which are very famous from William Shakespeare. The sonnet, the focus on romance and love. That has its own rules. Um, there's haiku, which you can see those in my shorts videos, if you've been watching those. They're very short. 
poems. There's also novella. There's also a ballad poem. These are just a few, but there's a lot, there's a bunch of lists that you can think of that can make that you can make poems, and they all have specific rules. Reverse has no rules. You can kind of just make your own, your own rules, but I like to have structure, so I like a specific style of poem. And other poems have specific rules. They have certain syllable counts you have to go by, or sometimes a rhyme scheme, or some other kind of form pattern to go by. Now, once you have that completed, start writing. Write how you feel, whether it's structured or you just go in free verse. Just have fun and just immerse yourself. Now for the next step, after you write your poem, read and revise. Now, good thing about a poem, oftentimes, unless you're made it really, really long, they're often very short, so it's easy to go back and to see what mistakes you made. You can have it critiqued. And sometimes that actually helped me very a lot. When I first learned how to write poetry, I was back in community college, I took a creative writing class. And it already helped my writing. And we all got together and we wrote our poems out loud and that's how we got our critique. So definitely do that, even with a family, a friend, you're somebody who knows some things about poetry that really helps. More, you know, somebody knows about poetry, the easier it is to get feedback and help. But as you keep going, you keep learning more, and that's how you kind of just get started to writing a poem. And so I hope this actually very helps a lot. And I hope this helps a lot so you can get started in writing your first poem. Definitely look up on some of the other styles. If you are interested in learning, anymore I could maybe maybe make another video on this make this some mini series or something so I mean make a, a lot more on poems and, and more active on it and I just want to be sh sharing more of that just another art form and if you're new here to this video check out my other ones it's primary an art channel but I also do some literature as well so I'll see you in the next video take care